Hello everyone, here we have a small EW scenario shown here in Mace on the left and in Armor on the right with our Spectrum Viewer uh, up here in the upper left showing all electromagnetic activity in this scenario. What we're demonstrating here is we've got a, a, a growler who is providing standoff jamming in this scenario uh, and we've got an, an SA6 battery over here uh, we've got a blue ship attempting to track some surface ships a little bit to the east. Uh, and what I'll do now is show you here the indications of jamming effects. You can see on the MACE map here we have indication of a jamming corridor from RF-18. Um, if I turn on my outlines here, you can see these entities are outlined in red. That simply means they're on the red team, but they're pulsing in blue. That indicates they're being jammed by someone on the blue team. This is a uh, MACE is a pulse level physics-based simulation under the covers, so this is all um, high fidelity propagation and receiver modeling. Over here, now I've got my blue ship with his surface search and acquisition uh, SPIY-1 radar. You can see blue outline, blue team, but also pulsing blue. This means that this entity is being jammed by that growler. The frequency of his surface search radar uh, is similar to that um, of this uh, SA-6 over here one of the search radars over there. And so when this radar spins around, uh, he actually is attempting to track these ships, but the jamming comes in through his back loop. So this is again, physics-based, all unclassified data here for this video, uh, but it's to highlight and show the capability of MACE to do physics-based assessments of potential blue-on-blue -blue jamming events while a scenario is being simulated within MACE and Armor. Thank you.